All right, Mason, what are we doing today? Um, we're, we're making masks. All right. We're so making we're masks. Try. We're making masks when the blue gun is hot for my daddy and the roller is not hot for me. Okay. It's good. Uh, um, the end product is going to look something like like this. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to show you. And How there's. You like it? Oi! Um, so we're going to try to get it as close to the N95 as possible. Um, now, it's not a replacement for, uh, for it, but uh, if you can't get your hands on. N95 because we we've ordered ours and it's not here yet and it's been like three or four weeks. Okay, so as uh, far as materials, um, there's two main filters that we're gonna use. This one is a um, a Merv 13. Uh, I want to say it's like an air or, or an AC filter. Um, the reason why I use this is because if you look it up, um, a Merv 13 um, filter will. Uh, will filter out uh, including viruses, bacteria, and, and everything else. You, you can get a, a higher grade uh, if, if you want, but uh, at the 13, it, it does filter out viruses. Um, and then the other filter is this shop towel right here. A single layer filters actually a little bit better uh, than the, uh, the regular three layer surgical mask. Uh, so those are the two main um, filters. Uh, and then of course we have our little paper clips here for the nose piece. Uh, I have Max here help straighten them out for me. And then you have this little DVD um, box here and what that does is, is we're going to put the uh, rubber band on it and that helps us uh, do the little uh, earpiece a little bit easier. It, I guess you'll see it when, when I actually do it. It's, it's hard to explain. Uh, and then everything we're doing is we're going to use a, a hot glue gun. There's no stitches, stitching, sewing, nothing like that. So uh, you don't have to be, you know, this awesome sewing person. And of course the a rubber band. Uh, I think we have a size 32 rubber band. Whoa. Um, uh, oh, and the end product looks something like this. So, um, Max, hold this real quick. Let me, see, let me see if I can put it on real quick here. So that's what it looks like here. The paper clip kind of um, puts a little hole right there. Uh, and it, it, it snugs pretty tight. So, all right, so we're going to get ourselves a shop towel here. Yeah. So you can see one side is just slightly longer than the other side. So I'm going to fold it along the long side. Just fold it in half right there like that. And then I'm just going to hot glue gun it, like this. And then what Mason was saying earlier about the roller, and, and you probably thought he was just going crazy, but you don't have to. It just, I burnt myself a couple of times, so it just, it just helps. Um, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Like that. So now you have this and you have a little opening like this. The opening doesn't really matter. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the creases on the side. Um, so like this. So we're gonna do something like that and then we're gonna put glue right here and then right there and then we're just gonna squeeze it like that. And then I like to do two of them. So we do another one right here like that. And then we just glue it on that side, glue it on that side. Mm -hmm. While Max is over there doing the uh, the paper clip, so he's my helper. <laughs> so same thing, we're gonna do on the other side. Do the little creases here. Max, are you having fun? Yeah. Look, there's a couple more. And then do this and that, and now we have it, right? So we put our face in here. It'll come out like that. But as of right now, it just like this. Now, this is where the DVD kind of comes into play. So what I do is I do this, right? And then another rubber band on this side. And then I just stick it in here, all right? Yeah. Kind of fold it a little bit like that. Okay. And then I just put the glue right there. 
right there. And then use the roller because you don't want to burn yourself. And then same thing on the other side. Now, I'm not claiming this would cure your corona or prevent corona from whatever, but I think this is going to be a really good alternative if you can't get yourself um, some of those N95 masks. And I think with all the filters, I think it does a pretty good job. Um, I've, I've kind of seen two videos where they use uh, this and the, the shop, um, and, and I'll link that, that, that shop uh, towel video where it, it, it states those, uh, those numbers I said earlier. Uh, so we're just combining the two, getting some, some extra protection here. Um, all right, so that should do it right there. So if you want to stop here, you can because basically that's it right there. Okay, but we're going to go a little bit further and get this line. Try to find that, that middle spot as much as you can. And we're going to do this at the top of the mask. Just put one right there, right in the middle just to kind of hold it in place. Um, okay. And then now you get the the Merv and you kind of align it right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Right there, somewhere, right there. And then you just glue it right there. So you don't need to glue all of it down. You just want to get the, the top one so it doesn't, you know, fly around. So I just usually do the corner like this. Make sure I try to make it as long along the the line as possible and then you just kind of spread it out like this and that's what the inside kind of looks like right there so you got one filter and two filters um, and then what I like to do is and you don't have to do this I just go right on the inside put a little bit of glue right there and that's going to stick to to the blue a little bit better all right so we're pretty much done so um, just gotta make the nose kind of contour to the shape with the paper clip right there so that's that and then you can skip this next step but I I like the next step but you see how the bottom is kind of like this so we're just going to get this little piece right here so the way that we do that is just kind of fold up the mass in half find the middle and just kind of glue a little bit just a very small area and then uh, right here just kind of fold it over like this so at the end of it that's what that kind of looks like right there so it, it kind of brings the mask in a little bit um, so I guess the airflow will kind of have to go like this to to get in whereas if it was straight down it, it's I don't know, a little bit easier to get in so that's how that works and you have your very own homemade mask so Max you want to add anything Yeah. what do you want to say do you want to ask them where the arms came from? Like what store? Oh yeah, good, good. Um, so we, a lot of this, uh, the shop towels, you can actually find at most auto stores. Uh, if you go like AutoZone or, um, we, I think they were sold out at AutoZone. I'll, I'll link the, the, um, the link where we actually got it, but it's also an auto store. Um, these, the, the Merv 13, we bought it and, and it comes like, like this. So these are just sheets on sheets and you just cut them up and you cut them down to about that size right there so there's a lot of it um, and everything else you can kind of find around the house is hot glue gun and, and all that stuff but uh, I think this it looks stupid but it really helps with the, the whole rubber band uh, and makes it a lot easier because try to flip that over with a rubber band it, it's really hard without it so that's how that's done so thank you and, and hopefully this is helpful for for some of you guys out there anything else Max? Mason, you want to come say hi? You. You. All right, so Mason's busy, so he doesn't want to say hi. <laughs>